new wheels, custom badging, carbon fiber, whatever these are, more carbon, built trans, more carbon, full BMR suspension, seat delete, built motor, supercharger, ice tank. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry if it's a little bit windy, but yes, I'm doing a lot of things with our 2019 Mustang GT. It's better than ever. It's never been this good and only getting better. And today, in today's video, we're going to take it up another notch. We're going to head back to the garage and we have another modification that we're going to add to the interior to dress up the car just a little bit better. Make this the ultimate street car. Let's go. All right, we're back in the garage. If you followed me for any like a time, guys, then you know that I am a sucker for like the small mods. And uh, I don't want this video to come off like, you know, some kind of a weird, you know, like sales pitch or anything like that. But I do want to say that this video is sponsored by Custom Cover. Guys, links down in the description to get what we're going to be highlighting in this video. Save you some money. Yes, man, we've been doing a lot of cool things with this car, making it kind of its own. We got a built 5.2, you guys know that. Built everything, suspension, transmission, everything. It is race ready right now. Uh, just order the E85 tune, and we also have a smaller pulley. Videos coming in the future for what this is going to do as far as power, uh, dyno videos, and obviously track times, track videos are coming, but today, the focus is right here on the interior. Something that we're going to dress up the car with and uh, just make it a little bit nicer, man. We got these these nice uh, cloth seats. I love them. I love the cloth seats. I've always said in the past, really? I don't know that I'll ever buy another Mustang with leather interior. And after today's video, you're going to understand completely. What this is, is a seat cover that's going to slide over your existing seat. So you don't need to take any of that upholstery apart. You don't have to take it off. You can even put these on if you want to change the color of your interior. You can actually slide these onto like a leather seat that you already have. We have cloth, but this is going to be something really cool because they should install very easily. Should look very factory with all the fittings and everything that are uh, attached here at the bottom to make it a nice custom clean look. Yes, it's red on black. Is that going to be a little bit too much? I don't know. Stay tuned at the end of the video. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, but at the end of the day, this is a reversible modification. So for track stuff or whatever, you know, if we take that seat out and just leave one in, you know, I can always pull these off because it does add a little bit of weight. Sure. You know, streetcar stuff, maybe shows. I think maybe this is something that you'd be interested in. Things I know I've got them in a jumbled mess, but the build quality of these things are fantastic nice and thick you got the pipe uh stitching or lines or whatever they are here at the bottom we've got it's kind of like a foamy material uh this is designed to wrap around your factory seats with like no excess play it shouldn't have any like weird bubbles or anything like that it's supposed to look factory at the end of it that's what i'm hoping that we can accomplish at the end of this video as a kind of a factory look when i ordered this car a long time ago i really debated on like a red interior the red interior package seats that come with these cars this is a 401a option car but i did not do it i went recaro instead and uh, i don't know that i'll ever buy recaros again for drag racing which is mostly what i do these seats are perfect, but for the shows and off track stuff, this is something that uh, I think we're gonna really enjoy. So it's pretty much a complete package. You're gonna get the full interior, you're gonna get both seats, headrest, and you're also gonna get the back seats. I don't have back seats, obviously. Well, I do, they're over there. Anyway, so we're gonna back up the car and build a seat and see how it looks. See if uh, it's really worth it because these things are pretty cost effective. I think the full kit's like a little north of 400 bucks for everything. But yes, anyway, I digress. We're gonna get to work, install some, uh, some nice fancy seat covers back here and hopefully clean up the interior just a little bit more. But like I said, it's a reversible mod and we can go back and forth. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with the bottom. These are supposed to fit like really tight. And the way it looks is you have these plastic clips. These are gonna shove through the back of the seat here. Then you have this elastic, uh, whatever, and <laughs> it's going to go basically underneath in some manner to keep the back down. This should, let's see, it's supposed to be very, very tight. You may have to actually remove this from the car to get this done. On the Mustang, at least, you have 
this is all covered and this is where the straps need to come out so let's see what we're doing here so okay we got some elastic there that's just uh should be able to come off pretty easily yep it's like we got a plug let's get this out of the way there's one of the clips that's coming through the back right now so there's three of them so we just got to fish them through looks like it's uh it's not adjustable so i think the intention of this strap is actually to go over the outside of the plastic since we have a little bit of excess here. Um, it'd be nice to see if this was, you know, adjustable. I'd like to see that in the future, possibly. That's like an improvement. But if I, again, if I went over, you know, then if I went over the plastic, then, you know, of course we'd probably have no slack. But it, you know, it is possible to tuck up underneath and then clip from this angle here. That way we don't see anything. So when it's in the car and it's all nice and flush, I mean, this is about the only gap that you're gonna see, which is gonna be pretty much nothing once it kind of conforms a little bit to uh, the seat that it's resting on but as far as the rest of it so elastic here and also here looks like it clips in one of these areas here you can kind of see where I've got it clipped right there in the plastic kind of like the back does okay so you have elastic goes back into its factory position as one of those clips and uh, the bottom of the seat is now secure. So the back is pretty much the same way. You got to feed them through just the same. And this is pretty much how it's going to look on the back from what I can tell how to figure out. Anyway, we're going to put this back and then these clips will kind of just go into a spot like right there. This side, it's got a zipper there. It's got a nice seat back pocket here. Uh, we do see a gap here because this is actually going to be resting on like the center console is going to go through this area here so this is the inside you can see where the seat belt is but on this side it's a little bit more clean it comes down a little bit further wraps around the plastic a little bit better i got it all installed and i have got to say that i love it so check this out man we have a little bit more luxury and class inside of a pretty dark interior otherwise and I gotta say, I mean, we're gonna step out here and I'll show you how it looks red on red and everything, but I gotta say, as far as the seating position, nothing has changed. Uh, I've been driving around with them and it's really hot outside. It's like 90 degrees and it doesn't feel any more hot than a regular leather seat would. These are not uh, obviously heated and cooled, but the cool thing is that you can take them out if you want to. So once I figured out how to do the passenger seat, when I pulled the driver's seat, it took me like, I'm not even kidding, like five minutes. I mean, it's very quick. Yes, you do have to remove your seats to install them, but that's something that you're not going to be doing, you know, like every other weekend. But these are just a little bit nicer. But, you know, a little bit of color is not bad. So, yeah, this is pretty much how, how it all comes together, man. Looks freaking awesome. Looks so delicious. Uh, you can see where it pokes through here. But other than that, I mean, just looking at them, it looks almost like a factory seat. I mean, you see how the leather comes down and wraps nice and seamless around the plastics and everything. Yes, you could spend the extra money on like uh, completely re-upholstering these, or you could just buy a seat cover like this, which is pretty cool because you can take it on and off pretty easily. Maybe, uh, you know, get rips, ripped or teared maybe get stained you know you could pull it off replace it uh, you can wash these I actually put that to the test I washed these uh, delicately and it did not lose any color didn't lose any you know fit or finish or you know quality or anything like that a couple of things to note though so everything still works like it does like it you know from the factory maybe for like a convertible but you can't really tuck this stuff underneath any of the plastics. It's nice that you can still get to all of your controls and everything. Again, I don't really care because I don't have a back seat, but you know, just something to think about. I do wish that the color of the backing was black, then you wouldn't notice it as much. But I mean, overall, I mean, for something that costs like 400 bucks, I mean, you really can't complain that much. Everything feels really high end, top quality. I and mean, when you sit down, I'm, I'm sure these will conform to the seat a little bit Bit more as I ride around in them they're all brand new but everything fits nice and tight they don't feel loose in any way either so they feel like a regular seat you know like it's part of it like it came that way so I, I do like them I do recommend them I think I'm gonna keep them in the car they look really good man they look delicious gives the interior a little bit more pop they don't weigh very much at all so maybe I added like four or five pounds to the car just doing the front too so I mean 
who cares, right? Really good. Hopefully coming off on camera well. I actually really enjoy the way that that looks. Here we go, red on red. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Is that too much? I don't think it is actually. I think it looks kind of cool. Just a little bit more class and luxury going on. I really like it. It looks freaking hot. Again, same deal over here. Nice and flush. I like it. Now those other straps I was talking about earlier, if they almost look like they're designed to go like around, but there's no way I was gonna do that. I mean, you can just push this aside, slide them down. You'll have a little bit of excess underneath of the seat like I was showing you, but I mean, you can see for yourself, there is no slack here. Everything just tucks down nice and uh, factory looking. And uh, they also have these in different colors, by the way. They have them in different colors. Yeah, I think it looks really good, man, with the uh, the whole red and black, everything that we have going on, just red and black. Okay, that's gonna wrap up this video, my installation and review custom cover. Go check them out again, links down in the description below. Save you some money, but I, I'm thrilled with the way that it came out. Let me know what you guys think. Is it too much, you know, the red on red? Again, they have different colors, but this is what custom cover sent me, so I wanna say thank you so very much. I I definitely approve of your product so definitely check them out man they're very affordable you know definitely a cost effective option if you want to change the interior color and look of your mustang i mean they got a bunch of stuff on their website go check them out so i appreciate all you guys watching i'll see you guys in the next video get ready to go fast because we have performance mods coming very soon they're here and uh you're not going to want to miss them so subscribe turn the notification bell on and i'll see you guys in the next video bye